Yeah, I could have reviewed Solo or Deadpool 2, but this is so much cooler than that. You know, at some point I have to imagine that Lee Wanell was attached to direct the Venom movie. But then someone over at Sony goes, nah, we need to bring in the PG-13 crowd. They hand over the directorial reins to Ben Fleischer, who incidentally has a directorial credit for a movie called Masturbation. That's not the point, that's just a fact. So then Mr. Wanell takes all of his scripts and all of his ideas for Venom, basically replaces any reference to New York City with the near future, and any reference to an alien symbiote with high-tech implant thing. And boom, you've got Upgrade, one of the goriest, funniest, and smartest movies that left me with a slightly more, slightly increased appreciation for just how much technology has really enslaved us, if you will. Um, it's flat out one of the best movies I've seen of the year, you know. <laughs> flat out, just no lie there. Um, so so what's, our, what's our setup here? Uh, Logan Marshall Green um, plays a character, uh, Gray Trace, and his wife, Melanie Vallejo, who I just realized was the Blue Mystic Force Power Ranger. And I am regretting saying that on camera, that I actually know that, but we must soldier on. Plays his wife, Asha, Gr Asha Trace, and they're out one night for a drive. They get in a car accident by malevolent means, perhaps. Um, she dies, and he gets paralyzed from the way, from the neck down, and he is presented with the cure from uh, a business connection, if you will, uh, this thing called uh, STEM that will plug directly into his spine and basically give him the ability to walk again. And what follows is a hyper-violent, hyper-gory revenge story that I dug the hell out of. Um, and to give away any more of the plot would just kind of ruin the fun because this is a very fun movie. Um, like I said, it's a funny movie, and I will admit that the parts that you'll be laughing at are possibly inappropriate to the casual observer, so let's just say I was happy that the theater was empty when I went and saw this this afternoon. Um, and I, I don't want to give away the, of the story because it's a fun story, and it's you know there's a lot to be there's a lot to be enjoyed here, and, so, and actually a lot to unpack. You know, once the credits start rolling here, um, but there's there's there is one thing about this movie I do have to just absolutely rave on for a moment if you will and it's the camera work you know so often we see in new movies where they have really crazy tricky shots you know I, I love a good long tracking shot like the opening to um to specter where we follow james bond across the the rooftops and he's gonna go shoot the target down or you know something like children of Mill, those great tracking shots that just build up the intensity and really suck you into the moment but here we've got a movie that does something i have to my memory, to my knowledge, I don't think I've ever seen a movie do this, and that makes me, and that's to make us feel like a passenger in the movie. And, and and let me kind of explain what I mean by that. Typically, when you're watching a movie, you're watching things play out through the perspective of the character. You know, you're you're over the shoulder of one actor as they as they speak to another actor or actress, and you know things kind of follow what they're seeing, and and the same thing happens here, but in a very odd, disconnected way, um, in moments where um, uh, uh, Tr Gray's character um, hands over control to Stem to kind of do the the kung fu nonsense. Um, the, the camera follows the direction that Gray would be looking. So obviously, you know, as a paraplegic, he's only got stuff going on up here, you know, from the neck up. And so in the moments where like the Kung Fu is all kind of happening, you know, typically you would see someone who is a, you know, a, a, um, a practitioner, you would see them, you know, kind of watch where their arms are going and watch the blocks and all that stuff. And clearly I'm not that. Um, but here, you know, Gray's just, you know, straight vision you know the guy's fight might be kind of down here but it's just and it's super cool to watch even the scenes where he's not being all ninja mode and let's say he's just walking around you know he'll see him turn his head to go to look in the direction and then the body will turn and then you know it kind of moves along there's a very robotic element to his performance here and it's it's a very physically demanding performance just you know from my from you know watching this and it was really cool to see that and just have the camera you know, even from some side shots, some wide shots where he's fighting, you know, if you were to like bend backwards to dodge a blow instead of the camera just kind of um, following the action, you know, the camera tilted back 
with him. If you know, I'm trying to. It's, it's really hard to explain, but it's it's showing you know the the feeling of what it would be like to kind of be trapped in your own body and not having the ability to do anything except watch the 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 things that are going on around you because the computer is now in control. And again, there's that really sort of you know poignant message about technology and how much it's kind of you know become pervasive in our lives here um so it's it's really really cool moving very 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 slick um if you've seen anything that bloom house has done um you know get out happy death day the purge i'm not sure why they use those to that credit but whatever um you, they're playing to their strengths here very violent very gory and and very smart like i i have to keep it in that point it's very it's a very smart movie and you'll walk away at, and you know once you unpack things beyond just the hyper violence and the gun arms <laughs> You'll, you'll walk away with an appreciation for just what it's trying to tell you in a very blunt way here. Um, so I, I had a lot of fun with this movie. And if, if you're a fan of old school body horror, you know, and a little bit of sci-fi, like The Terminator meets The Six Million Dollar Man with a little bit of, you know, Invasion of the Body Centers thrown in, you're going to dig this too. And then walk away and be a little bit more hesitant the next time you ask Alexa to reorder your eggs. And let's be honest, there's a reason mine's not out here so if you dig at this kind of movie it's not for everybody i will admit that but like i said if you dig old school hyper violence with a hint of intellectual um, property to it you're gonna really dig this and i definitely recommend you go check out upgrade and i'll see you guys next time